When it's time to get high, go to Goliath Growers Garden. It's time to get high, go to Goliath Growers Garden. What's up everybody, Goliath Grower here. Got a little update for you. Got some good news. Mars Hydro made the FC6500 more efficient. I'm guessing they made the all the FCs more efficient. So uh, let's check it out. So here is how it came out of the box, pretty much. We got the user's manual right here. There's probably some information in here. Let's see. FC6500. Personal grow space, 5x5, five five, 650 watts, 100 to 100 uh, volts 
on a 120 dimmable from 10 percent to 100 and these are the dimensions right here next we got the driver and that's the driver it's got the daisy chain dimmer along with all the other ones same thing connect your daisy chain in here connect it to another light then you can control the dimmables and the on and off switch right there and it also came with there's the daisy chain cord right there we got the ratchet pulleys and hanging cables and we got a power cord right there that will hook up to right there Yeah. Alright, let's flip this thing over and put the driver on. Alright, we got our driver right here. And we're gonna put this right on. It only goes on the center. So it'll go on the center here. You can slide it as far or as front as you want. Slide it anywhere you want. This cord is gonna have to go back there. Either that or this cord is gonna have to come up here. And you just put them in. Twist it. And then you just push it in. And now it's locked if you want to take it apart. That's pretty cool. That's a new feature. A little lock, you just push it in and it goes beep. Alright, so that part of the driver is hooked up. I gotta hook up the power cord. But before that, they give us four little bolts put it in each corner to hold the driver out. And those are right here. I'm gonna put one in each corner. There's a little hole. They're plastic threaded bolts. So you don't want to put them on too tight and strip them out. I repeat, do not put them on too tight and strip them out. Make sure they're doing their job. Oh, come on, man. You do it. Got faith in you. Last one. All right, now we can hook up this power cord, which is very easy. You just plug it in. Now you can actually plug this thing in and turn it on. All right, we got the daisy chain cord right here. We're just gonna plug that in over here. I'm gonna plug this in right here for now so we don't lose it now we can hook up our cables so we can hang it up Right here we can hook them to. 
two. Hooked up on this side. Let's hook it up on this side. Good. Now we got these ratchet pulleys. And now we are ready to hang our FC 6500 and hang it up on the wall. Man, this has got to be one of the best 8 bar lights out there. I'm telling you, this thing is nice. Alright, so we got our watt reader here plugged into the light. We got the light plugged in. It's reading. 0.6 watts, 0.4 watts, 0 watts. Let's turn it on. So we are down at 10%, which is the minimum you can dim it down to. And it is 78, 79 watts, somewhere around there. Let's turn it all the way up to 100%. This is supposed to be a 650 watt light, and it is that plus some, reading 671 watts at 2.8 ohms per joule. That is about as efficient as it gets right there. How do you like that? This thing is bright. So this light has 2,688 LEDs. The best selling Samsung LM301B and Osram 660 NM LED chips consuming 680 watts power. Well, we just measured that, it was like 677. Efficiency up to 2.0 ohms per joule. It's got the upgraded sun-like full spectrum white light. This, this high intensity spectrum is beneficial for plants of all stages from veg to bloom and creates big dense buds. Expect up to a 50% higher yield and higher quality compared to the old blurple lights. Max yield up to 2.5 grams per watt with 30% higher average PPFD. It's got the daisy chain dimming function, which I just explained right there. Up to 15 lights can be daisy chained up to that thing. There's no fans, it's got aluminum heat sinks and it is IP65 waterproof. That does not mean you could submerse your light in water. It means that you can have it in a humid environment and maybe a couple splashes on it, but don't be soaking your lights and then complaining that it don't work anymore. All right, everybody, there it is. This thing is bright. I'm gonna get out of here, get this thing over some plants. But here's some more specs on this light. Good luck everybody.
Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Go to Goliath Rower's Garden